Hello, this is Art. Thank you for joining me today for California housing update. I hope everybody is doing good and staying positive because this past week, the second week of June, was pretty wild and quite stressful. At the top of the discussions are obviously the inflation and the monetary policy. So let's take a look at some recent stats. We all kind of thought that maybe uh, the inflation passed its peak in the month of March because it dropped to 8.3 percent in april but it jumped back up to 8.6 percent in the month of may and seems like it might get a little bit worse before it gets any better here's a quick summary from tradingeconomics.com they're suggesting 8.6 percent inflation and they're saying it's the highest since december of 1981 uh, energy prices rose by 34.6 percent the most since september of uh, 05 the gasoline up 48.7% on annual basis and fuel oil 106.7% has the largest increase on record. Yeah, it looks like this past month we've been setting some records. Look at the uh, food cost. It surged by over 10%. Last time we've seen something like this was in March of 1981. Also, big increases were registered in meats, poultry, fish, and eggs, which is 14.2% growth year over year. Used cars and trucks are up by 16.1%. Airline fares, 37.8% up. Meanwhile, the core inflation rate slowed for a second month to 6%, and core inflation does not include food and energy prices. Gas prices are setting new records, and we've never seen these levels before. Regular unleaded gas in California averaged $6.44 pretty much. On June 14th, it was recorded. Diesel showed the highest numbers and on record, just above $7 per gallon registered on June 17th. And here's a nice map from AAA. It shows you how much the gas is in California. Here yeah, we're in Los Angeles, so we're still huh, reasonably good at a little bit, almost six and a half dollars per gallon. Because look at Alpine County, seven dollars and eighty cents average price per gallon. If you look at the national average, it's at five dollars as of June seventeenth, when California's gas is one dollar forty-two cents higher on average. As far as interest rates go, we all seen how Fed's added, added 75 base points to the rate and that plunged the stock market and the US bonds, they rallied right away. What it did to the uh, mortgage interest rate is quite significant because uh, interest rate went up by a little bit over than half a percent within just one week. If we were reporting 5.09 average 30 year fixed mortgage rate in the beginning of June, as of June 16th, based off uh, freddymac.com 30-year fixed rated mortgage averaged at 5.78 percent it is 2.85 percent higher than it was last year exactly as as you can see in this chart last time we've had something like this was at the end of 2008 and what it did to the mortgage payment uh, for a, a medium price home in california the uh, mortgage payment went up by 44 percent which is huge for its record-setting increase. For example, if your mortgage payment was $6,800 for, uh, uh, for a home last year, right now the same home is going to cost you closer to $9,800 a month in mortgage. So that's a huge gap, 44% growth. The National Association of Home Builders surveys uh, home builders every month to get an idea of their market sentiment. And this is what they're saying recently. Builder confidence in the market for newly built single-family homes posted its sixth straight month decline in June, falling two points to 67, according to the National Association of Home Builders and Wells Fargo Housing Market Index. That HMI index reading is the lowest since June of 2020. And I like this little chart here that shows us the index, how it travels. As you can see from beginning of this year, it's been downtrending quite significantly it went down all the way to 67 when at the beginning of the year it was at 83 points now bloomberg.com reports that for the first time in five months u.s retail sales dipped here's a nice article from bloomberg.com value of purchases fell 0.3 percent in may up 0.1 percent excluding auto and gas sales electronics furniture and e-commerce also posted declines Auto sales dropped by 3.5% in May, 
Meantime, spending at gas station climbed 4%. Obviously, higher fuel prices affect that. Excluding those categories, retail sales rose 0.1%, the smallest gain in five months. I ran into this uh, interesting article from Political Calculations. Here it goes, it's June 15, they say in 2022, cost of 4th of July summer cookout increased by double digit percentage. And the menu is not fancy, it's got cookies, it's got uh, pork chops and burgers with potato chips. You're looking to spend about 21% more this year for that meal that you did last year on July 4th. So based on July 4th menu, the inflation might be closer to 20% rather than 9%. Now, all of these events are affecting housing market drastically. As you can see in this nice chart here, share of homes sold above asking price dipped as it was over 72% last month. It showed 69.9% uh, for the month of May. Mortgage payment growth hit a new record high. As we already mentioned, it's 44% higher on annual basis. California Association of Realtors surveys consumers every month to find out their uh, housing sentiment. And the month of May dropped by nine points, which is the biggest drop that I've seen this year for sure. So people are quite pessimistic about the housing market. Is it a good time to buy a home? 87% of consumers says no, it is not. However, 68% suggest that it is a good time to sell a home. Will it be easier to find a home over the next 12 months? Majority, 83% of consumers says that it won't be. Do you plan to purchase a home in the next 12 months? 95% of consumers says that they are not. California Association of Realtors reports that year-to-date uh, statewide sales are down by 8.9%. However, if we look at the annually adjusted rate, it is down 9.8% from April and 15.2% down from May of last year. So we're definitely seeing how the market is slowing down. However, the prices are still growing and the market is very competitive here in California. As we can see, uh, median sale price set new record and it's 1.6% up from April, while up from May of 2021 at 9.9%. So we've been seeing a lot of price growth recently in double digit percentage. Now it's down to single digits growth. However, the growth continues and market is very competitive. In May of 2022, um, statewide sale price to list price ratio was at 103.4% at uh, when a, a year ago it was just a little bit more, 103.8%. So market is still very, very competitive. Percentage of million dollar homes sold in California set another record. It's at 35.3% statewide. Obviously, majority of inventory in California is within the million dollar homes and homes priced below $500,000 dropped in sales drastically. Again, it set new lows. Um, keep in mind, there's not too many homes you can buy for $500,000 unless you go to the far north. On the regional level, all five regions of California are showing sales declines with Central Coast running the lead at 21.8% decline, followed by uh, Southern California, Central Valley, and San Francisco Bay Area. Far North is the only one that declined a little bit, only by 4%. Far North actually gets more uh, activity there because properties are more affordable, but the price growth is more significant comparing to the other regions. Far North registered 16.4% growth year over year in uh, uh, home prices, followed by Central Valley, San Francisco Bay Area, and Southern California. 30 counties in California experienced sales declines with plumas, running the lead at 46.3%, followed by Mono. Santa Barbara dropped by 29%. In the meantime, areas like Del Norte, Siskiyou, and Mariposa counties are growing significantly in sales. Um, if we look at um, a year to date basis, actually Yuba County is getting the best sales performance out of all counties. It grew, uh, the growth is at 41.2%. Now, 45 out of 51 counties in California are registering sales price growth. Look at this, the Napa, Napa Marine, and Siskiyou, they're all around 28, 25% growth. While Santa Barbara pulled back 30.7% down 
in the median sale price for a home there, followed by Mono and Del Norte. Statewide average price per square foot also experienced growth, $436 per square foot uh, in May of 2022 versus $387 per square foot in May of 21. We're finally starting to see how the monetary policy and the growing interest rates are affecting the housing market. Obviously, pulling back in pending sales and closed sales increase the inventory. Also, uh, potential sellers entering the market now for the home buying season. But uh, even though the inventory is growing rapidly, we still have a very long way to go to reach pre-pandemic levels. And I believe that once we do that, the, le the uh, market will start leveling off. It will become less seller advantageous and maybe we'll start seeing offers not going above asking prices as much. Plus, growing uh, mortgage rates are going to price out a lot of potential buyers as we've seen 44% of annual uh, mortgage growth is just not sustainable. And we're going to see how it's going to take a higher effect on the housing market. This is it for a quick California real estate market update for the month of May. Thank you for staying with me till the very end. As always, if you're thinking about doing any real estate moves or have any questions regarding particular areas, please reach out to me. I'll be very happy to assist and look forward to seeing you soon.